Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita. You may be wondering why we are in a run already. That's because I started and then realized I wasn't recording. But anyways, we're going to jump in. We're starting off with the SMG. I also did some off-screen farming and got ourselves some interesting little items here. Two legendaries. I farmed up and I got a few keys to unlock some new items and I found some legendaries. So I got them to start this run. We're starting off with the safety blanket to make us immune to curses, which is insane. And rainbow. Your bullets apply random status effects. Two legendaries. Very cool. We also started with one key um and of course we started with a shield as well let's go for it let's do this but let's just jump in and see what we can get done of course in the last episode oh we actually get visible rainbow bullets this is going to be so strong that guy got charmed and we didn't actually take any damage from him that's awesome what is what is so okay yeah this 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 um status effect thing seems it's going to be busted good but yeah in the last episode we did discover part of the secret i will admit I have actually recorded an episode of me completing part of that secret, um, but I had to do it in parts because it was very difficult and took me a long time, so the episode needs editing. So I, I will not be showing that off yet. There shouldn't be any spoilers for that in this video. We're just going to play a regular old run this time around. I'm still going to try and go to the, um, to the honey floor if we can because I really like going there. Oh my god. It literally just stacks up like every single status effect. That's nuts. That's so strong. Um, but yeah, um, so I will um, see if we can find a secret room. Nope. I will just try and keep this uh, episode spoiler free and just keep on going, keep on trucking. Um, but yeah, I like I said, I recorded the video. Basically, I recorded some of it off camera. I need to do a voiceover and edit it a little bit. A uh, familiar that shoots at enemies increases your luck. Let's go for the luck increase. I've actually learned what luck does now. Um, it increases the chance for status effects and, and anything that's like got a percent chance of happening. And also increases the chance for you to get room drops. So it's all around very, very useful. Um, so I will be trying to utilize it whenever I can. Oh my god, this is so strong. Rainbow is, um, is nuts. We might have already missed the secret room, by the way. I do realize that. Okay, he's going to teleport. Okay, status effects on bosses take a little longer to apply by the looks of things. That was a really bad hit there. Just stay above him. You can't do anything when I'm above him. There you go. We got him. That was a really bad hit there, but it's okay. Oh, we got... What the hell was that? Oh, we got the item. Uh, little chest. Nice one. Getting that early is pretty good. Fill up our hearts here. And away we go. We got our shop. Don't know what I'll do with the shop. But yeah, I want to be playing this game a little more. By the way, uh, just so you guys know, um, I might as well mention it in this episode. Ooh, this is a curse. Let's take this, um, and then we don't, it doesn't matter because we're immune to curses. Uh, your dashes get reduced cooldown, I don't really care about that. Uh, yeah, just so you guys know, this episode is, this episode is going out on the Friday. Uh, hopefully if you're watching this on the Friday, you'll kind of hear this message. But essentially, um, this series is not going to be weekly after, after today. Uh, sorry, sorry, weekly. It's not going to be daily after today. Instead, it's going to be, I think, three times a week on the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just because, I mean, I, I absolutely love this game and I intend to keep it on the channel for a little while as, as long as people are still enjoying. But it is very, very difficult to record a bunch of Isaac and a bunch of this, especially for daily uploads. So I hope you guys understand um, and... I do apologize for the, for those of you that are really into this series and like having it daily. I really do apologize, but it's just going to be a little easier for me. And it also should mean that I can make sure that episodes aren't like rushed at all or anything like that, which I don't think they have been yet. Increase your damage for a short while after getting hit. That's actually decent, but the bigger thing is the luck upgrade that we got there. That's going to give us more room drops and the like. I think that's our second secret room there. Okay. Slightly annoying room here. I'm, I'm liking the SMG here. It'd be nice if we can get an accuracy up of some kind. Okay. Just stay away from you. You can bleed. Good, good. Secret room was just here to the left. I don't know if we're going to be able to go b flock. I think I've missed my other secret room. We got a chest in here. I didn't know you could get chests in here. That's pretty awesome. And we get the glass hammer. If we destroy chests, 40% chance to get ourselves... An item still. That's pretty good. By the way, there was an update recently that um, tweaked a bunch of things, fixed a bunch of things, patched a bunch of things. It did, it did, it did a lot. Damn it, if we had a key for that, it'd be a free item. We don't get any curses. Okay, secret room. We found it. We're on our way to our hive. You see that? The slow-mo. So good. 
Oh, damn. I'm so bad at getting out of the way of these dudes. It's alright. They're going to give us a bunch of soul. And then you are going to give us even more soul, aren't you? Oh, do you know what? A shield is really good. I'll, I'll definitely admit that. A shield is very nice. No chest here because we did take our shrine. By the way, you may notice I'm also wearing a fish head. I got that while I was farming. Uh, I just bought a random head and it was this one. I very much like it. Oh, you bastard. I'm so bad at Denial. I don't know what it is about Denial, but he hits me every time. I don't think we'll die to him here, but I'm not feeling great about the fact that I got hit there. Especially considering he is dying so very quickly. And also the fact that I haven't got much health to mess around with right now. It'd be nice to have some more health to play around with here. I just always move to the wrong side when I'm getting out of the way of that shot. I think fire's the best... Oh my god. Fire's the best uh, shot we can put against this guy. Best status effects. There you go. And he is done. Please give us a good amount of HP. Because I'm not feeling great about our current HP right now. He gave us a shield. That's pretty good. He also gave us a key, which is pretty useful. I'll heal up there. I'll probably trade in the HP that I've got away. And I've got B floor here as well. Yes, yeah, so we're not going into this with a lot. So we wouldn't have been able to do the first part of the key secret anyways. Uh, you have to kind of do some sacrificing for that. Um... I think I'm going to get rid of the glass hammer. It's good, but I just so rarely want to use it. Um, we could, Oh, rip. Okay, so that's just duration. I don't really care about that because we're applying it so rapidly. Um, I think we go with little chest. And then we double upgrade on this. And get a bunch of luck. Cool. I'm very happy with that. Let's jump in again to the metro. To the hollow hive. I really like this floor. This floor has grown on me a lot. It's definitely a little more difficult. I like. I also like that about it. But I just think the enemy variety, especially when you're on decent curse, while when you're getting the extra enemies as well, is pretty enjoyable. Okay, let's be let's be cautious here because I'm taking some dumb damage at the minute. I think that one of the uh, status effects we're applying means that the enemy takes some extra damage. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but it definitely feels that way. Okay, we found a secret room there. Second secret room, that is. We definitely need a bit more range and a little bit more accuracy. They're the two that I feel like I'm missing right now. We've also got a Shrine of Swiftness there. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I'll take it. Oh, it's growth. Growth is luck. Okay. I'll take that too. And give me the health straight back. Thank you. We actually found a secret room there. I very rarely do on the hives. I'm very bad at that. Uh, but we are in Shard 5, so this door will just automatically open. I feel very uh, risky with all these enemies here. I just love the, like, crazy rows of stats effect. I think we picked the perfect weaponry to use with this. Like, if we'd have used Sniper or Shotgun, it might not have been so good. But with the SMG with the fast fire rate, it's crazy. So, yeah, we won't... Oh. Oh, they changed this. They changed this. Um, now you only, you're only required to have done it once. Uh, if you, if you just go in at full HP now, it doesn't matter. Take increased damage for the next few floors. Afterwards, gain a relic and it destroys itself. Increased damage for each offered HP at a statue. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Um, yeah, now, now you're just required to be at full HP to activate that thing rather than being at 6 HP. So that's, that's one of the things that you changed in the patch. Just because people were having a hard time getting through that and understanding what was required of them. That was a bad hit. Uh, so the developer then decided, do you know what? Let's just change it because people are getting confused. There's no point keeping it confusing, really. If you know what I mean. I'm very much playing it risky here, but I don't care. Hey, Snowman's pretty good. As long as I can get myself another heart before my next chest, I'll be happy. Okay. Looks like we're going to get there. We're getting about a heart of room. We need to get the uh, item that increases our meter faster. Or uh, the what, even the one that allows us to get just to a higher level of meter. <laughs> you can freeze the mid-drill. That's so funny. I didn't think you'd be able to do that. No! 
I got hit again. I'm so bad. Unfortunately, we don't get our Celestial Weapon here, which would have been great because that probably could have given us some, give some HP. This is probably a two-way of room, right? No. Did give us some HP, though. Makes me happy. I just want to get this extra heart filled before the boss. Looks like we're not getting in there. It's just the, fa the, f the fact that freeze is so common is insane. But yeah, no shot there. Uh, no second chest for us, sorry. Always need to make sure I try and go in here with extra keys if I can. Our snowy buddy's then getting us an extra freeze as well, which is really nice. And there you go, we got our extra heart for our boss. Don't know how this guy will go. I'm always a little rough on this dude, but we'll, we'll, give him a, we'll give him a good try. We'll give him a good try. I do like the good old anger. Like I said, we really need to be applying fire. Oh, this is the hard version of this boss, by the way, that has um, honey in the center, as you can see. Makes things a little more tricky, especially considering the SMG has fairly low range. We do have the platform in the middle that we can somewhat utilize, but I... I don't really, yeah, like the idea of that. We've done, like, no damage to this guy also. I thought we'd done way more than that. I'm really bad at this, dude. To be fair, the honey doesn't slow you down while dashing, so you can just dash while you're on it. Oh, I got hit again. I told you, I'm just bad. And again. Oh my god. Okay, he does bounce off the middle platform as well. I didn't realize that. Wow, that was that was trickier than it should have been. But I am going to do some upgrading, so I don't mind too much. Well, I'm not upgrading, but buying some items. So there'll be some items available here. That's exactly what I was holding for. Uh, ho hoping for, sorry, a shield. So hopefully we can trade away one HP here. I don't know with the item we got that makes shops cheaper, if it makes this shop cheaper. I'm not sure. This is technically a shop. Uh, increase damage by a lot, but reduce your max HP to 1. Honestly, that's pretty good, and that's pretty good too. So let's take that, because that's that's kind of what I asked for, and then take that as well, because that's that our max HP is 1 when we take this. So we just got a hell of a lot of uh, damage, of an in a hell of a lot of an increase to our damage. And our chain meter going higher should allow us, with the extra damage, to get some stuff going pretty quickly here. And our snowman's keeping things, uh, keeping things stunlocked for us. Very nice. Should be looking for secret rooms as well here. I just forget to look a lot of the time. It's, it's silly, but I do. Probably gonna take some damage here, yeah. I knew that guy was gonna get close. Okay, there's a secret room. As long as we've got armor, I don't actually mind taking damage all too much. I'd like to keep it, you know. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I wish the mirror room, like, always showed up later. There's another secret room. Um, just because, like, a lot of the time I end up... Ooh, this is kind of a... It's kind of a difficult organization for a room here. It always end up going to the mirror room thinking you've got something, and it's like, soik. Come on, please be something good. To be fair, a key is pretty good. We're pretty lacking on those recently. We can't buy anything from this guy anyways. To be fair, we're immune to curses, so taking curse chests is a pretty good idea. This door doesn't look like it requires a key. Oh my god. Big enemies, you can just stack up so many status effects on them. It's actually nuts. Yeah, so this is just open. This guy's going to ask us for keys for things. Increase your luck and chance to find HP pickups. Do you know what? Yes, I will take that. The other one, I, I like it and I realize I won't get a curse, but I do kind of want my key for shops and stuff. This is going to be rough. This room right here is going to be really rough. It's you that's making it rough. Ah, do I even want to bother checking in the shop? No, it's too risky. Too risky. I'll leave it for next floor. I'll save my key for... There you go. I'm glad I saved it now. Get a celestial weapon. I'm way more happy with that. Uh, excuse me. I definitely ducked there. Just to make sure I don't die in a single hit.
I can't tell if the enemy's like frozen or rearing up to shoot me sometimes. It's very scary. What we got over here? Uh, that's, that's the cursed item. I'd rather get a celestial weapon right now. It could give us a HP up. And it could just be a good weapon as well. It is an okay one. And it did give us a HP up. Nice. Ah, this thing's got a bit more of a clear indication of requiring an armor piece now, which is nice. I like that. That's, a, that's an interesting change there. Those things, they didn't really know that they required armor to start with. And because it's like, now like story re relevant to get past shard 5 to go to that floor. That's really nice. Sadly, we can't get in there. I do know what you need to do on that floor as well. That has also been tweaked, I believe. So yeah, the video that I told you about where I've like already done part of the, the puzzle, that'll be on the old patch. So just be aware of that. It was recorded a few days ago. Okay, he's frozen. I didn't even realize. I'm here like pussyfooting around worried. He's already frozen. Okay. I am brave enough. Take the challenge. Don't get hit. This is always my worst one. Okay. Just about did that. That was close. And we get ourselves... Makes you shoot in bursts. Okay. I don't... I don't know how good that is for us, but I don't dislike it. Ooh, that's very good. Increase all of our stats by 10%. That's very, very good. I think the, the shoot in bursts does technically up our fire rate. Yeah, the, the damage is definitely a bit higher here. Okay, second phase. Little difficult on this guy. Dash when the red goes away. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yay, we got a flawless, finally. Took a bit of time, but we did it. Get that memento. Nice. I'm feeling pretty good about our run now. We've got some interesting stuff combining together. I'm sort of thinking, what should we upgrade here? Probably the chain meter one. Like, well, first of all, what do we want to get rid of? Um... Honestly, probably, probably this. I just don't feel like I'm going to get much out of that. That's very low damage. Ambrosia can be upgraded for an extra 5% stats and everything. Or we could get rid of another item, which I'm sorry, Snow Lad, but oh, we can't do two. I forgot. At least I'll, I'll, I'll save my thingy then, my upgrade thing. Oh, wait, I think, oh, no, I, I, I think I have to upgrade now. Um, now nah, let's just, let's just save it. Let's just save it. And we'll do a, we'll do an upgrade on, like, the Ambrosia next time or something. Wait, what? Does it not require shields at all to get to Cam Calderum now? Is it just having the key that takes you to Cam Calderum? I was not ready for this. This is a little strange. Yeah, I was not ready for this. Intriguing, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I really wasn't ready for this. It's pretty cool, though, that you can get to Cam Calderum other ways, but... They must have changed how you get here now. If you put the armor in, maybe it... No, because surely it can't be. Because, like, that means you'd go here every single time. I'm guessing it must be taking the key piece takes you here. Or maybe taking the key piece just guarantees the armor. and You can go here with armor if you want.
Dot. Damn. I'm liking that chain meter being higher. I'm tempted by you, but I'm going to save it for the chests. Just offer three HP, see what we get. You get three relics. Wow. That's really good. Shield every seven rooms is really nice. Oh my god, we have so much luck. We have 85 luck. I don't even know what some of these enemies do. We can go in there. I'm... I know that this is probably upsetting for some of you, but I am going to skip it. Specifically because... I, um, I do have a video coming up next for Monday that will have me going to that floor. I promise you. I promise you. Do I want to open this chest? If not, I can always destroy it. It's only a regular chest. I'll just do it. Increase maximum HP sponsor for a pickup. Hell yes. We got a bunch of extra keys from that. Well, two, three extra keys. Do you know what? I'm going to go for the Celestial Weapon. I need another Celestial Weapon anyways. And it might give us max HP again. I'm going to say, this one's good, but it's like... You can't hit anything airborne. I don't like that. Gives us damage. Do you know what? I'll just take it. I don't really care about that as a Celestial Weapon, but... I'm just going to take it. Damn it. Get away from me. I might die in this 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 room here. Let's heal while we can. Probably don't want to go for another chest here. I'm sorry. Would love to, but it seems really dangerous. I don't even know what these enemies do. <laughs> nice. Even more damage. Beautiful. Okay. Not gonna die now, at least. That was a bit scary. Our damage just got very high, though. Hey, we got the pink frog. I didn't even realize. The pink frog is pretty cool. That was a guaranteed hit for me there. I really don't like the water physics. They're really awkward. Just everything feels slow-mo. Puts me off. Yeah, so we, we got the frog. Excuse me? Is that not how this works? Did I not shoot the wall before? I don't think I shot the wall before, did I? I thought I didn't even know you had to. The frog's there. But we missed out on some free armor or free something or other. That's a bit of a shame. That's just me being stupid. I didn't realize you had to shoot the wall when the frog spawned. It makes sense because you always have to shoot the wall normally. So I don't know why I assumed you didn't have to. Why did I walk right into that? Yeah, for some reason my brain was just like, no, you don't have to. Yeah, some guaranteed damage there. I might die in this boss. As I've said before, I don't want to fight this guy. Yeah, I'm probably going to die. Probably going to die. Okay. Just about got him. Just about got him. If I, I, I'm so annoyed I missed that turd room. I will try and get that again next time. I promise. That was uh, quite quite the blunder by me there. Quite the blunder. I will admit. Right. Oh, wait. We have to trade HP here. We don't even get any forge hammers. Each arrow spawn additional treasure room. Bullets pierce seems great. Why not? Yep. 
Yeah, I made some mistakes there. <laughs> I'm playing a little bad. We're up to Tiki Tower though. We'll see what happens from here on out. We do have an extra treasure room coming up. Need to build up our chain meter again. It got a little fracked. Curse Cleanser? What, what does she even do when you've got this item? Quite literally nothing, I'm going to guess. Oh, the freezing enemies like this is so nice. So nice. Then we get a free item from this guy because it costs curse. We can't get curses. Wait. I'm, I'm a bit confused because we do have curses. Makes you immune to curses. Does that just mean they take no effect? I think it means they just take no effect. Your bullets have a chance to confuse enemies and critical supply bleed. Because, yes, we're supposed to have two corrupted HP and we don't, so. Bullets are pulsating, increased range. Meh. I can't. I'm so annoyed at myself missing the frog thing. I'm more annoyed because I'm sure you guys are just seething with rage because of it. I know some people get really, really mad when I make dumb mistakes like that. I do apologize. It just happens. Especially, it's just commentary brain. Like, every YouTuber gets it. You're, you're talking constantly and it just, it slips your mind so easily. Like, some basic stuff completely flies, like, flies under the radar. And it makes no sense to the viewer why it would. That's just how it is. Defeat enemies in fi uh, 15 enemies. Okay. So, I think the reason that we still gain the curses, but they take no effect, is so that we can get cursed enemies and stuff. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to get any actual cursed enemies. Which I think isn't really the intention of the items, so that would be very strong. Okay, nice. We get ourselves. Accu oh, that's range. I thought that was laser pointer. That's still good, though. Range is still very nice. Yeah, taken care of. I don't know how we're going to fare against the boss, because to be honest, I've got very low health and I keep making terrible mistakes. I might just destroy this chest if it's not rare. Yeah. I'm going, to, I'm going to. And it was a good job that I did. It's a mimic. Oh my god, I've got him froze locked. I had him freeze locked. Okay, well, we're nearly at the end anyways. Okay, so that's the door that we'd normally open. As you can see, it is open. I, I realize it's frustrating to see it, see it open, see the, and me know what the secret is and not show the episode first. But I, it's, it's my own fault. I just didn't give myself enough time to, uh, to edit the video. I really should have done. I apologize. But it is what it is. We're having a fun run nonetheless, aren't we? A fun run nonetheless. Some extra damage, I think. I like it when we make them into a friendly just before we kill them. I'm gonna open this up just to destroy the chest, unless it's like legendary, then I'll open it. It's not. There you go. We get extra damage from it. Gets us up to 100% and we heal up a little bit. Okay, we should be able to kill this guy and then we can take this because the curse doesn't matter. Not a very good item, unfortunately. Should have blocked some projectiles for us. I mean, on this fight, it actually could be kind of good. What up, fella? I don't know if piercing really helps on this guy too much, but I'm going to pretend it does. Damn it. We're doing pretty good damage to him there. Yeah. 
We're doing good crits as well here. Okay, got him halfway down already. I think I just want to be on the other side of this, to be honest. If you start doing the throw up in the air, yep, I knew it. And just move to the other side. I like it when he teleports straight to where he just was. It's like, congratulations, you've achieved nothing. We're getting a lot better at this guy, though. We're getting a lot better at this guy. Acceptance. This, this dude, I'm still really bad at. Mainly because of this attack. Although, he apparently did get a bit of a nerf in this recent patch. Acceptance got a little bit easier. Because I think everyone agreed he was, like, a lot harder than he used to be. And, like, I'm not saying he was impossible. Obviously, I beat him plenty of times. But he was just significantly harder than he used to be. And it was mainly because of this attack here. Okay, we got him halfway, I think. Just about. There you go. I like the fact that when he does his Rage Word into second phase, you can just keep damaging him. And then during the bombs, it's just like, just wreck him. There you go, we got him. We got him. Pretty good run, pretty good run. A speedy one as well. Get shot, boy. Boom, 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 boom. Got another nut. The constant repetition of all uh, this is beginning to feel like madness. Why can't I remember? I know I've done this all before. What's worse, I can't seem to stop myself from doing it again. It's like some unforeseen force is driving me. But every time I try to warp, wrap my head around that force might be, something pops to distract me and it slips away. We got another note. There's a man here uh, when I exit the metro um, this time. I don't think he was here before. Still, his face is very familiar. He tears my ticket. He tells me about the tower. In the distance, it's impossible. Uh, it's impossible shape. Feels something out of a dream. If if uh, if I stare at it too long, my head starts to ache. Very interesting. But we will accept our fate, and we shall end our run here. Another really good run. And put those legendaries to good use. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I, I, I like I said, the next episode will not be on the week uh, tomorrow as it would normally be. It will be on Monday. We'll be uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, hopefully. Um, and I, I hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys look forward to that pretty banger of an episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.